Hello guys and welcome to Hey Hells TV. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've had a blessed week. I'm filming all of these on the same day by the way, but you guys are not going to realise that because I've just changed my skin my top you know that's the magic of editing and filming y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes okay so without further ado i'm going to introduce my guest for today's show it's interesting because in the nicest way possible i don't know what to call you as in like what you do because normally when i introduce my guests mm. i would ref i would introduce them by their profession or you know what they're known for and you're known for something a bit weird well you, Controversial? Well, yeah, so th I've got a viral star. Is that a good way to... Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah, calm. I've got a viral star here today. A viral... Mr. Controversial. Anything Mr. you want. Mr. Controversial. I love that. Okay, so I've got young CEO certified. Is that what you're known as yeah. professionally? Yeah. Okay. How are you? I'm great. I'm always blessed, man. I'm shining, you know, every day. Yeah. That's the vibe, man. No hate in my heart, man. Nothing but good vibes, you know? I'm, I'm, no, that's, that's good to hear. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, your vibe is very, like, you know, you seem very calm and relaxed, uh -huh. you know? Um, I'm, yeah, I, I don't know why people think I'm, I'm, well, I'm always on smoke. I, mean, I am, yeah? But yeah. my day to day, I'm calm. I'm a nice guy. Okay, so you went viral on TikTok for uh, this video that you posted. Mm. So you were talking about a, a female that came to your, your place, yeah. which I'll talk about in a moment, because yeah. your living area looks a bit questionable, but we'll, we'll touch on oh. that. <laughs> so you said that with if, if you order a meal from Uber Eats or any online delivery mm. service, mm. and she doesn't, you know, perform or, or you know, proceed with the transaction, mm. then there will be consequences. Yeah. And yeah. at the beginning, when I first watched it, I just thought... Wild. Yeah, I'm thinking, isn't it scary? You know what? <laughs> See, but I feel like the word consequences, yeah, is the wrong word. As in, like, for me, because even when I explained it, I'm like, there's no reason to come to my yard after 10 o'clock, yeah? Because that's one setting. After 10, met on Tinder, I didn't know me from Nowhere. Pull up to my yard, I'm thinking, she's like, she must be on smoking. There's no other motive. So I'm thinking, we're there, Couple hours go by, she's like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I bought some food. Then an hour later, she's like, oh, I'm going to go yard. I'm like, where you going? Type shit. Because I'm thinking, well, like, what do you think it was? A free meal. So then that's happened and then she's left. So when I'm saying that on live, that's like a disclaimer. I'm basically saying that's not going to happen to me again. Do you get it? As opposed to actually her being locked in. I'm like, it's not going to happen again. Type shit. That's what I meant. It, it seemed a bit different that it seemed like it's, well, from, from what the video, uh. it, it looked like, you know, I, I didn't let her go without her. <laughs> That's wild giving. though, because if she was still there, like, why, would I, why would I say that online? If she was actually still in the yard, or like, I actually done a madness. I'd be in jail, innit? Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's why it seemed a bit scary. So it's good that you've clarified that firstly. Was... Let's talk about your living space, because I think, okay. you know, what people were kind of focusing on was, you know, the way mm. your living space looked and what you were saying. They were kind of putting the two and two together and thinking, mm -hmm. It seems a bit rich coming from someone who's got no bed sheets Swear. and a bin bag and sleeps basic on a living, mattress. Mm -hmm. Basic living, minimalistic living, real basic. I mean, look, I mean, your crepes say otherwise, though. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's like universal credit money. Don't watch that. Is it like a setup? <laughs> no, that's I was really in my room, I got, and I really got kicked out. I swear down, that's all real. So you know when you invite females over, don't you like kind of you know just? No, but before that, I actually had a sheet though. So you took the sheet off no, strategically no, no, I had for the it, video? No, I had a sheet. I had, it for, I had one sheet for time. And one day it just ripped. And I want, I want Bubba to get another one. So then I just started sleeping bare. I just rocked out of it. So this isn't like a whole facade for the internet to make no, you look like... No, it was really like... my room. That was really my room. And in the bag was my clothes. Hundo. That was really my time. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, because, I mean, you, you seem like a very well put guy yeah and you know if i was to see you outside i wouldn't think you know you have that kind of living space but you know what a lot of guys do you know a lot of guys living fucked up you wouldn't think because they come online and like yeah and they do the most but some people like really be broke yeah but at least i own like i own shameless brokenness like i actually don't care i'll, I'll, I'll happily come outside yeah and be broke but rather than cap and like i got it like them guys you see in design and drip they ain't got it like that you know yeah cars rented the clothes are taken back next day. That shit's not real. I'm, for me, I just live my truth in it. So I feel like when I'm doing that, you can't out me on nothing because I'm already saying, yeah, I'm broke. And what? 
Like, what else have you got type shit? Do you know what I mean? So, because I bring that to the table, like, you have to rate it. In my head, you have to rate it. Because shame is it? Unshame. So, now that you're getting all of this attention on social media, mm. are you, like, monetizing off of it? Because you said you're on universal credit. Yeah. So, eventually, do you think that you would want to be a social media star? Or do you feel like you're... Was it intentional? Like, are you... No. Damn... No, but I, I didn't even put that clip out. Like, like I got stream sniped. Oh, right. That wasn't... I didn't put that out, you know. So you streamed. were on live? Yeah. Okay. I was on TikTok live and then I've gone to sleep and woke up. Bro, you're cancelled. I got cancelled on Twitter. I ain't even on it. How'd that make sense? I got cancelled on Twitter and I'm not even on it. 24 hours ago, I got blacklisted of everything. Mad, isn't it? And I woke up to it and I was like, right. And I was like, who put that video out? I got stream snapped because like, like they were looking for something juicy, in it? Because I was talking crazy that shit, I won't lie. But I don't remember I said it because after an hour, I don't, I don't, I can't remember everything I'm saying, do you know what I mean? After an hour, especially when I'm sipping Brini and that, innit? So I must have been talking, whatever, and then I woke up and I was just cancelled. That's how, that's, that's how it happened. So have you taken a woman out on a proper date before? Back in the day, yeah. I wouldn't do it now. London's too expensive, I'm not going to lie to you. But what if you genuinely meet a woman that you like? Are you not going to want to treat her or, you know, show her, make, make a bit of effort? Yeah, but I've, I've taken too many hours and spent too much money for effort now. Now, now it's just Costa, small latte, that's it. Yeah, because I saw you were, was that a date you were on in Costa with that? <laughs> <laughs> small Quite latte grating grating I'm winning I'm, but yeah I'm telling you small latte that's it I'm not doing no more than that because you know what yeah if women are going to tell me I want to get to know you what's the settings you ain't got to spend too much it's, it's a bit hypocritical isn't it it's like if I ain't got to do too much and I want to get to know you my bank balance shouldn't determine where like what, what, what we're doing in terms of like he's got to spend X amount because the more money a guy's spending you the more he's going to want from you know or like spec son but I'm just, for me it's small latte like go yard and it's calm like I'll take that out if, if that's what it is but I'm not, I ain't doing too much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going out of London, dropping 60 to get kissed in the cheek. Later, I might as well go brothel for that. I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100. If, if that was my motive, yeah, I might as well go brothel. So I'm saying, for me, I'm not going to spend money on gal like that unless she's my gal. So if you're, so if you're my main chick and I fuck with you, then I don't, I'm not really deep in money too tough. But I mean, if I don't know you from nowhere, I ain't dropping the bag on you. It can't happen. Are you single right now? 100%. So, are you, what are you looking for? I mean, you look like a grown man. Are mm. you just out here, just dishing your... Giving out free odd, yeah? Yeah. No, you know what? Not even. I'm, 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 I'm so happy being me, yeah, that my, uh, like, I'm, I'm protective of me. Like, I'm my biggest fan. I move how I move. And the way I manoeuvre in this world, yeah, it's like, I put me first, respectfully. So, if, if a woman wants to attach herself to me, that's calm. But she got to know what come with it. Do you know what I mean? So... If she knows what I'm on, being faithful is not a problem. I'm just not looking for that. So if a woman still wants to attach herself to me, like she's got to know how I move, what I'm about. Otherwise, I said, I'm calm. I'm not, I, I'm not I looking for nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll be real. So if brands start to reach out to you and, you know, the money starts to increase, mm. do you think that will have an impact on your lifestyle? Don't think so. You're saying that now, though. No, but I've been homeless before as well. Right. I, I, I sleep on buses and shit, so. Okay. I, I, but I come from humble beginnings, so... A lot of people do, though. I know, but I'm saying money don't mean much to me. If, see, if, like, if I have it, I have it. If I don't, I don't. Yeah. But if I got... If I had money... Now imagine, me, imagine me being up and I walk past you like I'm above you. Bro, relax. No, you don't need to be above anyone, but obviously, mm. now that you've got all this traction, I feel like the thing that people do with this kind of stuff is leverage and turn it into... So, right. I think... Do you and Castillo have a relationship? No, like, no but that's my guy, though. Yeah. I kind of like can see cause you like you and Castillo like in in like the same kind of um, box because obviously Castillo, mm. he's got a story. He's very outlandish, controversial like yourself, mm. and he's leveraged off of it. You know, he's I think he was initially a musician anyway, so he's yeah. used all of this clout yeah. that he's got from all these rants that he does and used that to you know. But I don't know what he's doing now, but mm -hmm. he's just there. He's yeah. a lot of people know he's him. Been doing his thing. Do you want to be like him? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to achieve what he's achieved? I, I don't. I don't. I don't have the same lane and vision as him. I don't. I can't speak for him. Yeah. I, whatever comes my way, I'll deal with it when it comes in front of me. But yeah. I said anyone getting their bad, like I said, like like he's, he's like he's been doing music in it. Yeah. And again, he he was just being him. Yeah. I I never come online and think I wonder what people are going to say. I don't give a fuck. I don't even check messages. Like I don't check mentions. I don't care two times. I come online, say my piece, and go about my day. So yeah. I'm not that invested. But obviously, if something happens where it makes sense. Yeah. Where someone's like, yo, like, want to do this? I'm like, okay, cool. Like, even today, like, for me, it made sense. I checked your page. I thought, like, you know, like, she's cool. Energy was there. I'm like, it makes sense. I want to feel it. I want to do it. Yeah. But, so, whatever happens to me, 
happens, but I like I like things organically happen. Mm -hmm. Like nothing, not, not nothing to be forced. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just keep it hundred. So so whatever doors open, open. Um, but if I do music, I'm not a rapper, so I don't know why I do music. But if it made sense and I'll be in like a young Philly type shit, like like I start singing Grey and that, then I don't know, might work. In. But let's talk about what's going on in the uh, scene. So mm -hmm. obviously, I don't know if you've seen what's been going on with P Diddy. So the allegations have been allegating. Right. You probably know America, they're a bit more liberal and open yeah. about these kind of things. And in the UK, it's like, even with you, this like, I feel like me people really started talking about even like eating pussy in the UK not too long ago. It's not really been a thing. And now people- You don't think so? Men, listen, I feel like the UK is more, behind the scenes is more nasty, nastier than America. That's but what I'm saying. they will never come out and talk about it. Like Facts. a man talking about eating ass on the internet in the UK, it's a bit like, oh my God, like how can you say that? Right. But in America, it's like- It's normal. Yo, I, yeah, it's like- Normal. Yeah. Like, no, one, no one bats an eye, but <laughs> I don't know, it's mad. I think, I think, but I think it stems from, you know, back in the day, a man say, oh no, I go down the girl. Imagine <laughs> though, like if someone um, had the same allegation, like let's say someone like Skepta, if he was facing the same allegations right. in the UK right. as Diddy is at the moment, yeah, mm. it would be different because it seems like people are still deriding um, Diddy in America. People are like, no, they're just trying to get rid of another billionaire. Facts. Like he's a black man. Try We've been known that Diddy been on shit. Right. Yeah. So in the UK, do you feel like? the same energy will be reciprocated or do you feel like people will join the bandwagon and start cancelling them? Because I feel like in the UK, cancel culture is just so, it's a thing. It is. When one person comes out and accuses someone of something, okay. you get a whole bandwagon of females saying, oh, on November the 1st of 1945, yeah. he was looking at my tits. It's not real, and yeah. yeah. What, what, what's your take on that? It's not, for me, I've, I've always said, yeah, you can only get cancelled if you care. I didn't care from the beginning, that's why I'm still here. I've never cared. Yeah. I've just been who I am. But it's different. If you got allegations like like Diddy, yeah, like that's an L in it. Because I mean he, like, he hasn't been found guilty yet convicted, yeah. Yeah. But if you're if, if you're on that vibe, I realise at a certain point, when you start to make enough money, you can get away with anything. Right. So it's like it's like even R. Kelly. There's still women who will die for him now. Despite him being fucked up in the people are women who still go to these concerts, still say I love and still listen to his songs. So after a while, yeah. When you have enough, enough no right of fame, most people won't even care. What's your type though when it comes to women? Because that girl that we saw in the video, she, as you called her, a, is that is grey that? Things. Do you like gratings? Are those yeah. your? So you're into gratings. I'm into I'm into all women, but these gratings seem to be the most responsive still. I swear, like as in like like they, like they just seem light and airy, and they'll laugh at dumb shit. So and seem and they just seem more approachable, and have a better vibe with them. Maybe because. The other things have higher standards. Yeah, but what, but why you got higher standards? For, like from like, where's that coming from? Who's trying to impress? I don't want to go to Costa for a chai latte for my What's first date. What's wrong with a chai latte? Sis, come on. What's wrong with chai latte? Listen. For a first date. You ain't been Covent Garden, have you? I definitely have. No, but has a guy taken you there on a date? Yes. I'm saying a black girl's never taking me there on a date. Why would you want a girl to take you on a date? No, but it's just the fact that she did. The fact that a great offered to take me out for a chai latte and they glue it free muffins. I was living. I had that before. Usually, like, man's in the hood, fucked up, going KFC and that. That's dead. I'm telling you, man, they show man a new way. I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100. But, but you really can't judge all black women. I, based I just on, said all women. Yeah. I, I just said no black woman has taken me to Carmel Garden before. Do you know what I mean? So, based off of that, your type is grating. No, but, but, just, but just little things. Like, isn't like, like, even, it, like, even their fucking diet is mad. All like pumpkin seeds and shit. And um, blueberries, like you get man weird, weird lunches. It's different, you know, when you date them. You're, you're in a different space. You don't get regular things like sourdough bread and hummus. It's like, like this is different. But aesthetically and physically, is that your type though? Yeah, which, yeah, but I mean, I would say my type is not too big, not too slim. Fair enough. You know what? I'm not, I'm not ever, I'm not ever really a bum or breast guy, you know. Really? I'm more of a leg man. Mm. A leg? I like, I, I like, I like, like I, well, I like a woman in like a nice pair of heels and legs. I swear down. It's always been a fantasy, you know. You know, like back in the day, like we see them fucking secretaries in the film had the glasses and the shirt and like that. Yeah. That still hits till this day. You know, like, Do you have any weird fetishes? Like I'm a bit random, no. Like I'm a, I'm a very spontaneous guy. Like, high cups, whipped cream, honey. Whipped cream. Yeah. Wow. High cups of whipped cream. What? What? Let like, you try that shit. Mm. You're, you're sleeping, sis. Y'all know. What, I read For some weird reason, I can see you being a porn star. Do you know what? I've seen it too. No, honestly, I've like as in I've had visions, you know. You can make money. And my short game's nice as well. You ever do OnlyFans? No. 
Why not? Because like you can make bread on OnlyFans. No, that's dead though. Why is it dead? It's just like it's just not my lane. It's just, it's just, it's just, I don't nah, 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 nah. You... I like, like I'm like, like I, I want to, I'm like, I'm like a rare Pokemon, isn't it? Do you enjoy being on Universal Credit? I don't care. I don't really care about anything. Hmm. Like most things, I just don't really care. And, but as a backup plan, let's say, you know, you at the moment, you're obviously still going viral. People are still watching you. You're, you're still very current at the mm. moment. If that eventually goes, yeah, mm. and, you know, you, you don't have anything to fall on. OnlyFans, yeah. Would you, was it, what, OnlyFans thing? No, I'm still not doing it. I'm telling you, I, like, like, how do you go back to what I know? But you've gained a name for yourself online now. No, Why no. don't you leverage off of that? No, I feel you. But no, but there's, like, there's a lot of avenues, you know. I you know what? I should, like, I should probably hold like, like, like host my own show, innit? Yeah. I, I, like, I, I, I was out last night, a guy was telling me, bro, like, host your own live podcast, bears will pop up. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, I think about it, like, I think I might do that, you know? Yeah. Like once a month type shit. But let's wrap it up there, guys. It has been wonderful meeting you, Love. young CEO certified. I wish you the best in your future. You know, mm -hmm. you seem like a gentleman. I, am. I don't agree with a lot of things you say, but you know. We're all different. We all have different yeah. views, and I respect it. Hundred percent. So, what is your plans? What, do, what, 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 what can people expect from you? Just more, like more of the same, but a lot. You know, what, there's a lot of things in the pipeline that I'm not going to reveal yet, or to you, but there's a lot of things happening. Yeah. So yeah, just stay tuned in it and be ready. That's all I gotta say. Do you even know my name? I don't even know my name. But... Thank you guys so much for watching Hey Hells TV. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Bow.